Or Saul, he's on his way to Damascus with warrants to Panayale Christians. And he had a Damascus experience. Acts chapter 9, verse 8 and 9. He was riding on his high horse. He was blinded by a light. Hallelujah. The light minupe revelation, Magdata. You can't, you could walk into a dark room, Gary. Pitch dark, you can't see nothing, right? But as soon as you on the light switch, you're able to see everything. Revelation. Agdata, I get it, I understand. Amen? You have that understanding. Put him, I guess, not only the understanding of the light of Jesus Christ. Not only go to understanding. No, Pastor, I have the understanding. But why are you still walking in darkness? You're contradicting yourself. How could you say you understand the light when you're still walking in darkness? So, Polly, you're contradicting yourself. My Fidel Pen, I don't understand. But the Pinana, I understand. So you just, that makes no sense. The Malanjul, Gary, amen. How could you say you understand the things of God, but you're still in the world? Devil, help me to see and understand. Acts chapter 9, verse 8 and 9. Saul got up from the ground and opened his eyes, Ashun, but could not see. So those with Saul took his hand and led him to Damascus, into Damascus. For three days, Saul could not see and did not eat or drink. Hallelujah. Saul was blind. But do what you can't see spiritually until you're blind physically. Saul couldn't see the things of God until he blinded them, until he was blinded to the things of the world. The light was so bright that Paul was blinded physically, but he was able to see spiritually. Hallelujah. Paul saw the light. I put you what I mean. We can't see the things of God because we're flooded with the things in the junk of the world. Magdata. Amaru ilo. Amen. Open the eyes of our hearts. Our senses are filled with, not of God. Oparimos la dumnyako y briga. I'm reminded of was Zacchaeus, a man small in stature, but he heard that Jesus was passing by. And since he was a small man, he wasn't able to see. So what he done, Jimmy? He climbed up that tree. Amen. But you are I mean, we can't see. I will your soul call friend. I will to was tester. I am going to pay a word from. I will to make data and to near it. Tun sama. After Paul's conversion, Jesus sends Paul to open the eyes of the blind and to turn them from darkness to light. Now, Paul received. His physical sight. Why did he do that? Now he wants to say, Paul, took your spiritual sight, to digest this spiritual sight. So God is sending the apostle Paul to go open the eyes of the blind. 
yakati because the things of God. Mangatu te angariz mogo warba ti prichos mogo chachimos te lolo tem. That spiritual insight. Acts chapter 26, verse 17 and 18. Amen. This opened out Jesus for a Paul. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them. Could we stop there for a minute? See how we read that? And I read it that way because I wanted it to go over your head. See how we can read and we can watch what? I am rescuing you from your own people. Some of us need to be rescued from our own people. Am I reading that right? Am I reading that right? I am rescuing you from your own people. Katak your own Tim. Katak your own Tim. I want to rescue you. Katak your dad, katak your pal, katak your mommy, katak your papo. So God pedal tan girl to tan tunyari ko. I want to rescue you from them. I'm rescuing you from your own people. Because how could you be their light if you're still walking in their darkness? It doesn't make any sense. If I'm to be a light to my family, then I got to get out of the darkness. Somebody help me here, please. We don't have no deal. Isn't that common sense, Roxanne? If I'm to be a light for my family, don't you think I need to get out of darkness? How else can I be a light for them? Am I a light for them if I still walk in darkness? If I do everything they do, then how could I help them? Come into the light. Hey, when you come into the light, I'll come into the light. You first, Pinintuko. This is also Paul is commissioned to rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I am sending you to them. Tunsama, verse 18. Acts 26, verse 18. To open their eyes. And turn them from darkness to light. From the power of Satan to God. So they may receive forgiveness of sins. And a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Isn't that a powerful word? Pigatradavtut mashkarkotem. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. That was Paul's mission. Nazus commission Jimmy the Dele Budbach as a stimons, the Wolo Dile, the Wolo Dilling a portion, Lingi family. No, let's commission Sas and Kalaile Avrian out to Nariko, I tell you, and the Lampa. Nazus commission the Penaling a Chesukarle, Che beautiful, Che Chimaela or Tim, Chimaena. No, let's commission Sas. He didn't come to sweet talk and flatter them. He came to tell them, Dick, you need to come out of darkness, out of the power of Satan, and into the power of God. That's what he told them. To some of Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 and 19. For I have told you often before. I have told you often before. Does it sound here like Paul is repeating himself? I have told you this before, right? It seems like the pastor is always telling us this. Hey, if Paul could do it, I could do it. I'm in good company. Paul repeats himself. They go, Paul, I told you this before. I guess I have to say it again. So praise God. If he could do it, I could do it. I'll follow his example. Because he follows Jesus' example. Amen? Pidel Paul, follow me as long as I'm following Jesus. Jesus. 